The Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institute that has today decided to award the 2025 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine jointly to Mary Branko, Fred Ramstad, and Shimon Sakaguchi for their discoveries concerning peripheral immune tolerance. Here are the three laureates. Mary Branko was born in 1961 in, uh, and received a PhD from Princeton University in the United States. The work for which she is awarded was performed at a biotech company, Celtech Cairo Science in Bothell, Washington. She is currently a senior program manager at the Institute for Systems Biology in Seattle. Fred Ramsdell was born in 1960 and received a PhD in 1987 at the University of California in Los Angeles. The work for which he is awarded was performed at the same biotech company, Celtech Cairo Science. He is currently a scientific advisor at the company he, he himself founded, Sonoma biotherapeutics in San Francisco in 1976 and a PhD degree in 1983 from Kyoto University in Japan. The work for which he is awarded was initiated at Aichi Cancer Center Research Institute in Nagoya. He is currently a distinguished professor at the Immunology Frontier Research Center at Osaka University. Have receptors. We can form billions and billions of these receptors, all with different shapes that bind to different proteins. The T cells help us fight infection, and without them, we cannot live long. Among all this diversity, some T cell receptors will unavoidably recognize proteins and structures in our own bodies so-called self-reactivity. These self-reactive T-cells may become harmful and cause autoimmune diseases such as type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and rheumatoid arthritis. So how does our body solve this problem? From early life, our T-cells are generated in the bone marrow and then the X chromosome. Today it's possible to map the mouse genome, the whole genome, in a few days, but at the time it was an incredible challenge and like looking for a needle in a haystack. Ron Corum's death still took on the enormous work of mapping the middle part of the X chromosome in detail and eventually established that the section of interest contained 20 potential genes. They then examined gene after gene. The 40 gene was previously unknown, but had many similarities with a group of genes called forkhead box, or fox genes, and they named the new gene FOXP3. It's essential for the development of the regulatory T cells, so-called t rex Subsequent studies show that when autoreactive T cells get activated, the regulatory T cells act to control them, both through cell-cell contacts and by soluble molecules. In this way, immune tolerance can be maintained without deleting too many systems that can act against the malignant cells. To sum how the immune system is regulated, and are therefore awarded this year's Nobel Prize physiology or medicine for their discoveries concerning peripheral immune tolerance. That's right. <laughs> Fox P3 possible. So, having that said, there is quite a lot of development going on, but it's still early studies, uh, which are both uh, some negative studies and some uh, studies that in an early phase has given positive results. That's one study that has worked, but there are many more alternatives using 